Suzanne President. Thank you. Um, back to Ron, putting a, a human face on this. Uh, over the weekend, we saw a shocking video of this woman, Neda, who had been shot in the chest right, and been bled to death. Have you seen this video? What is your reaction? It's heartbreaking. It's, uh, it's heartbreaking. And I think that anybody who sees it uh, knows that there's something fundamentally unjust about that. We also have people on the ground who have been seeing that the streets are quieter now, and that is because they feel that they're paralyzed by fear, fear of people gone missing, uh, fear of violence, that perhaps this is a movement that's gone underground or perhaps is dying. Do you have any concern over that? Yes. Uh, I have concern about uh, how peaceful demonstrators and uh, people who want their votes counted uh, may be stifled from expressing those concerns. I think, as I said before, there are certain international norms of freedom of speech, uh, freedom of expression. Hold on a second, Helen. The, uh, that's, a, that's a different question. Um, the, uh, the, the, uh, and, and, and I think it's important for us to make sure that um, that we let the Iranian people know uh, that we are watching what's happening, that they are not alone in this process. Ultimately, though, what's going to be most important is what happens in Iran. Uh, and, uh, you know, we've all been struck by uh, the courage uh, of people. Uh, and I, I mentioned this, I think, in a statement that I made a couple of days ago. Uh, some of you who had been covering my campaigns know this is one of my favorite expressions, was Dr. King's expression that the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends towards justice. We have to believe that uh, ultimately justice will prevail. So. Uh, the people who support him, which is the lower income in Iran, he comes from one of them. They see him as somebody who has their best interests at heart. And he's been, in, in all fairness, giving a lot of money to the lower income families. But when you go to the middle income, when you go to the students in, in the universities in Tehran, they basically criticize uh, him based on his various policies. There's a reformist movement that has, is going on inside of Iran. Last week, when when I was there, one of the leading reformist papers inside of Tehran was shut down. Khatami, who is the former president of Iran, who was also uh, one of the leaders of this reformist movement, has a lot of support among the students in Tehran. People, the intellectuals in Iran, and there are a lot of them, it is a very educated society. They are worried about his extremist values. They're concerned about the issues that he has raised with Israel. Remember that before the Iranian Revolution, Iran had no problem with Israel and the creation of Israel. So the intellectuals are concerned about his uh, basically uh, hard stance against certain things. But in Iran, everyone is united behind him, whether they support him or not, on the issue of nuclear energy. And they believe... Energy. Energy. Not bombs. Yes. Energy. They believe that he doesn't want to build bombs? No. People are, again, divided on that. The, the pious people, the people who go to the, the prayers on Friday, the very religious, say, listen, our supreme leader has issued a fatwa against this. That means that nobody, basically the fatwa said that Iran uh, is not allowed to produce nuclear weapons or any, anything uh, that would uh, basically lead to a nuclear weapon. On the issue of nuclear energy, though, everybody stands behind him and says that we have a right, Iran has a right to own nuclear energy. But here's energy. the point. He is telling the United States and the world, I'm not building a bomb. I just want to make electric lights go on. I just want to make hair dryers work. That's all I want. And yet... And nobody believes him. Well, we nobody believe believes him here. because he's been lying for years now right. about well, this. Well, so d do the Iranian people believe him? Do they actually think that he is, if, he, if they go ahead and they enrich uranium, that he's not building a bomb? No, I think most people agree that this is for a much larger cause. I think the intellectuals will tell you that, yes, Iran does want to pursue this to become a bigger power in the Middle East, and they don't see a problem with that on either end. When Khatami was here visiting, uh, you heard him speak of the fact that Iran 
Iran needs to prove that it can be trusted. In other words, i.e., a new government can come into place, which the Europeans and the U.S. can trust to be able to have uh, and possess nuclear energy, be as close to building a nuclear weapon, but everyone to say, like Iran used to be back before this revolution, that Iran is a country that can have nuclear weapons but use them uh, or not use them and be responsible about it. That's where you see the reformist movement in Iran moving towards. Big story. Rudy Bakhtiar has returned from Tehran. It's good to see you back. Rudy. In terms of Iran, the president says by September they abandon the program or get into negotiations or face consequences. What does this administration have to do now to get that change, to get them to abandon a nuclear program? Look, this is one of the toughest challenges we face. Again, I, I, we all want to work with the president. Meaningful sanctions need to be imposed, but also uh, we need to tell the people of Iran who are struggling for a free democracy and an open society and elections that are fair, that we're with them morally. I'm not talking about sending arms. I'm not talking... I think the seminal event was the death of Neda on the street that was broadcast all around the world. That will fundamentally change the future of Iran because she was the symbol of an oppressive and repressive regime. And I think the winds of change will even blow through Iran. Now, whether it does quickly or not is hard to say. We didn't predict the collapse of the Berlin Wall, but it happened. And I believe that in Iran, something is afoot that can't be stopped.